So sometimes our students use background images in Google Slides, and it's really hard to see the text because of the different colors of the background, and it would be nice if we could just kind of lower the transparency of that background image. It's not exactly doable, but there is a workaround. So let's take a look at the steps to do just that. Well, hello everyone, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broomtow Gaboses. And like we said in the intro, in this video, we're going to look at setting a picture that's been adjusted as the background to your slide. And, and you maybe have a different way of doing this and you're asking why, we'll get to that in just a second. But what I'd like you to know is this is sort of an in-depth process. So again, you may have a different way of doing it that works for you, but there's a specific reason I'm going for it here. Uh, and when you look at the timeline underneath this video, I'm going to segment it into the different steps. So step one is to add the image as a picture to your Google slide deck. That's step one. Step two is to adjust that picture, both in terms of size and uh, perhaps transparency, maybe color, whatever comes up to. Step three is to save that slide as a JPEG image. Step four is to upload that picture back as the background to your slide deck. And then the option of step five is to add that to the theme if you wanna keep using it. So like we said, why would you do this? Um, I mean, I could just like insert a picture and put the text box on top of it, and that's totally possible, but I might accidentally grab that picture and move it, and maybe I just wanna lock the image as the background. Um, perhaps I'm making a, a manipulative for my students to work with, and I want that slightly transparent background image so that it's locked in. So let's start off by looking at step one. Step one is to add the image as a picture to your slide deck. So I can either go to insert an image, search the web if that's what I'm doing, or I could click this little insert image and search the web. And earlier, uh, yep, you can see, whoopsies, I was looking for a leaf border because a, a teacher I was working with wanted to put a border around their newsletter. Um, so maybe I'm going to select this one because that's kind of cool and I'll insert it. So that is step one, right? Just to insert the image. Now, step two is to resize it. So I'm gonna you know, grab the corners and kind of stretch it out, make sure it takes up as much of the slide deck as I want. And that's cool. To recolor it or make it a little more transparent, a little more see-through, I can, uh, I can either click up here where it says format options or I can right click on the image and select format options now. If I don't see format options on the top, you may just need to click the image itself. But format options, that's where it'll probably look like this. If you wanted to, you could recolor it. There's some automatic recolor options, which are cool. You could add the fancy drop shadows, but under adjustments is where I can change the transparency, right? So I'm kind of making it a little bit more see-through. It lets the text appear more clear on top of the image. So now that, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe now that I have my transparency where I want, I can close that. And now we're on to step three, which is to save the slide as a JPEG. But before I do that, I'm gonna get rid of these text boxes, but I, I can't, I can't click on them because the image is on top of it. So if I right click and I say, send the image all the way to the back, now I can click on those text boxes and get rid of them. You also, maybe you could have changed the, uh, the template, or not the template, the layout to a blank one, that'd be fine. Uh, but I'm going to now, uh, step three, save the slide as a JPEG. So as to do, so to do that, I'm gonna say file, I'm going to go down to uh, uh, download, there we go, and select JPEG for a current slide. That's the only option for JPEG. And that saves this slide as a picture. And again, I'm doing that because in the next step here with step four, if I take a new slide and I select the background, I say, choose an image. This time I'm gonna upload it and I'm gonna pick that file that I just downloaded. Let's see, do, 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 right down here. I'm doing this because I know the image is gonna fit the way I built it and uh, because I stretched it to fit the slide and it's gonna be the opacity or the transparency that I want. 
step five is hitting this button, which I'll show you in just a second what it does, but, but give me one second here. So I'm gonna say done. So now I can't move that picture. And when I write, the text can be seen on top of it. So again, that, that's why we're doing this to make a slightly lighter version of a background. Now where that fifth step gets into the theme, you'll notice if I make a new slide, it doesn't have that border because that border was uh, selected just for that one slide. But if I do, if I do the same thing, right? Choose an image, upload it, upload the same picture we looked at before. Life is good. Now, if I say add to theme, that now sticks the background on the theme of the slide deck so that when I make a new slide, you'll notice they all have that background with it. So if this is something that you're gonna be using frequently and you want that picture as the backgrounds, you can just select that add to theme to give it to, to give you that background on all the slides. If you wanna change it for each one, you don't wanna add it to theme. So that's why the fifth step's optional. Well, there you go, friends, there you have it. That is how you can set a uh, slightly altered background as your background. I know there's a lot of steps involved, but it's kind of what we have working right now. I certainly hope that helps you. And if you found this video helpful, useful, uh, informative, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button down below uh, to get notifications when new content like this video is posted. And as always, thanks for watching.